What's up guys, welcome to Among the Fence. My name is Aaron and it is time for New Music Friday where I take a look at some of the upcoming albums coming out throughout the week of June 17th. I give my thoughts and opinions on what I think we can expect from some of these new releases. And on a side note, I made a post earlier with a poll asking people if they'd be interested in if I started a podcast, something I've been thinking about doing for quite some time now. And I was talking to a friend who encouraged me into that direction a little bit more. So yeah, if that's something you're interested in, go and vote on the poll or just leave a comment below letting me know if that's something you'd be interested in. And back to New Music Friday, there's not a whole lot of album releases coming out this week, so it's kind of, yeah, not a whole, there's just not a lot of stuff. The first one is going to be Rings of Saturn. They're coming out with their new self-titled album. This is the band's sixth studio album, and I believe it's going to be completely instrumental. I think they're moving in that direction. I was never really a big fan of the vocals from Rings of Saturn, and probably less into the music it's just it's very robotic and i it just it's something i have a very hard time getting into the drum work sounds artificial and the guitar stuff is just too video game laser beamy sounding to me so i'm not really sure how i feel about this album going into it unless if they change up their sound a little bit make it just a lot less extreme sounding everything with rings of saturn is just so extreme every time there's any type of like bass or anything it's just blast beats every time there's any type of lead guitar it's just super fast shredding it's just too much all the time and it takes away the feel and the emotion of the songs and it's just i, I try to get into them i can't so yeah unless if they change their sound up dramatically i don't think i'm gonna be that into this album Supergroup destroy rebuild until god shows or drugs for short is coming out with the new album titled destroy rebuild and this is their second studio album in the past 11 years i'm not really into supergroup stuff all that much just because it's very i don't know i always get like this hair metal sense from supergroups kind of like chicken foot but the stuff that drugs has been putting out the singles have been they've been pretty good they sound good it's very mainstream sounding so i think that's basically what this entire album is going to be but musically it sounds great and it's very catchy it's just i'm not really all that into the vocals but the music is, it's very good, especially for like a group of guys that aren't necessarily like a full-time band writing together all the time. It sounds pretty good. Civil War is coming out with a new album titled Invaders. For those of you who don't know this band, they are basically like an American version of Sabaton, but they're still a Swedish band and they're still power metal. But they're, it, it, it's like Sabaton is based more on European stuff. And Civil War is more about American history. But yeah, they come from the same country and the same type of music and everything. Musically, I like Civil War more than Sabaton, but I don't like them more vocally. And I don't even really care for Sabaton's vocals all that much. It's very Iron Maiden inspired. I wouldn't even say inspired. I'd say very Iron Maiden copycat. I imagine that this new album is going to sound like all the other albums that came before it. Because when they first started coming out with music... It sounded a certain way and it just hasn't changed ever since. The production has gotten a lot better and the music has gotten a lot better and the songwriting and all that's great. And I kind of like the concept of it, especially since, I mean, like Sabaton. It, it, it's about history that I know about as opposed to more European stuff like Sabaton does. I enjoy this more just because of that aspect of it and it gives you a little bit more insight into it. But... Yeah, I don't think we're going to really hear anything that new or that much more original from the band. Exocrine is a fairly unknown band, and they're coming out with a new album titled The Hybrid Sons. This band almost suffers from the same thing of like the Rings of Saturn, technical death metal, robotic syndrome type of thing. But their songwriting has just so much more character to it. It's not... Not everything in the band is at 11 the entire time there's some really fast parts and then there's more slow melodical kind of stuff thrown in there it's kind of like anomaly or beneath the massacre if anybody else is familiar with those equally unknown bands actually i think anomaly is like only has a hundred something spotify listens a month go check them out if you're into technical death metal and like space exploration stuff and you they're very unknown and very good so go give them a listen and I don't really listen to technical death metal nearly as much as I'd like to, just because 
I just, I forget about it and then I get burnt out on it and then I forget about it again. So I get really excited when new stuff comes out. And this is, like I said, it's a fairly unknown band, a couple of thousand Spotify listens. So if you're into this type of music and you want something a little less extreme than Rings of Saturn, definitely give these guys a listen. And that is it for New Music Friday. Like I said, there wasn't a whole lot of albums coming out this week, but there's a lot a lot of singles that were released this week. So I'll probably be doing some track reviews. I probably won't bring back the weekly track review, but I'll just be isolating some songs and just doing reviews on those throughout the weekend. And if there's anything that I missed, anything that you're looking forward to and anything you want to review, leave a comment below letting me know what they are. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to help support me and my channel, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell icon. Doing any of that stuff helps me out tremendously. Also let me know if a podcast is something you'd be interested in. I don't want to... I have no idea how to do it, so I don't want to take a whole lot of time into figuring it out and then doing it and putting it somewhere. I don't even know if I could put it on Spotify. I have no idea. I haven't looked that far into it. But I don't want to put in that much time and effort and energy if like nobody other than like my mom is going to listen to it. So yeah, if that's something you guys are interested in, please let me know. Uh, and I'll look more into it and I will find a way to make that happen. And if that does, then... I might start moving like some of the more weekly track review kind of stuff over into that section or even maybe New Music Friday might just be a podcast thing. I don't know. So a little bit more candid stuff, more live things than that. Even though I try to keep this as live as possible, more candid, completely unscripted. I try to just freestyle this whole thing. I want a podcast to be just even more so. So yeah, if you're interested in that, let me know. And I hope you guys all have a good rest of your day or night whenever you have me watching this. And I will talk to you guys next time. I was trying to anger me, keep me lying up My parents said to save me Years gone by, they said you know I'd ignore me never die Said to conflict me